Hey everybody, welcome to The Real Show Barbecue. You may have seen a video recently where I did the cold grate technique using the slow and sear from Adrenaline Barbecue. And uh, I had uh, David Parrish with me on that day, kind of showing how it works and so forth on the Members Mark Grill um, that I purchased. What I wanted to do today is kind of go over some of the pros and cons of using the Members Mark with the slow and sear. Um, first of all, um, and you're gonna have to forgive me. I got to use some notes here. Getting old, uh, can't remember everything. So bear with me on this. Um, first of all, and I'll put some video clips and so forth into this to show you the components work. The drip, uh, drip and griddle pan, um, the slow and sear, and also uh, the grate. Uh, you'll see in the video it works fine. Um, it has has great clearance in there so that's not an issue at all um, some of the things I want to point out as far as some tips are concerned is um, if you take like a like a 9 inch just a full um, throwaway pie pan and cut a hole out of it and put it down below the air uh, vents on the members mark um, it would help um, for like long cooks and also keeping the way you know the, the extra ash that you're going to accumulate over a long period um, it's also going to help uh, with easy cleanup and you know over a period of time uh, cooking you get a lot of gunk built up at the bottom so that's going to help as well uh, another thing is is to put foil over your griddle um, to keep uh, for easy cleanup as well uh, those are a couple of um, tips that you can use um, when you're cooking and using the, the slow and sear um, so uh, some things I want to kind of go over cons as far as the members mark is uh, the members mark again has no ash system so ash has to be removed by hand um, after very uh, long cooks or any kind of cooks really um, and basically because there is no ash sweep you're going to be limited to cooks that last a few hours so that's why I say using a uh, an aluminum or a full pie pan cutting it out upside down that will help eliminate a lot of the ash buildup around your your air vents also another thing um, when you're considering purchasing the slow and sear is make sure you do get that dripping griddle uh, this is another and really uh, will basically eliminate any of that gunk that builds up when you're cooking at the bottom of your grill so I highly recommend you know getting the dripping griddle um, as well as the slow and sear the hook placement this on the lid and you'll see here that it's very awkward and if you hook it on the edge of the grill and you try to to move the grill grade if you're doing um, the cold grate technique trying to move the slide the, the grate around you will see it catches and so that's that's another con also we noticed that when we used the members mark on like an uneven ground surface that it was very awkward so the three-legged system on a Weber um, it, to me is is much is much better um, you can you can kind of work with uneven surfaces if you're on like dirt or ground so even though it looks like four legs would be more sturdier it actually is kind of a downfall when it comes to that the cast iron grate it's awesome you know, it's a nice feature uh, the thing about it is it will rust it's hard to keep clean um, especially after like 12 hours of a brisket cook or a pork butt cook um, the coating will burn through you know that in a year and then also the, the rust will begin to come through also this only has a 90 day warranty that I can find and the Weber has a 10 year warranty and then you can also purchase um, parts online if something happens um, to a part on your grill on the Weber grill but these cast iron vents that are on the members mark these things can get super hot and burn you so you know if you don't have a pair of gloves nearby 
that you can turn these. This is kind of awkward as well. You know, it'd be better like the Weber has, uh, has the little lever here and you can turn that without, you know, burning yourself. So uh, that's another downfall um, to the member's mark. Another thing is the handle here. On the Weber, you have little notches where you can uh, hang your tools. So that's another downfall to uh, this member's mark. So basically, overall, it's a great grill for $99. You know, $50 more, you know, you could buy a Weber One Touch Premium and you would have a lot more options and to me I think you would be happier overall. But if you do purchase a member's mark, I highly recommend getting the Trifecta Slow and Sear. Uh, it's going to basically put this grill to another level. It's still not going to be a Weber. Uh, but it definitely will do some awesome job. I've done some, some cooks with some great cooks with it. Just tonight, I cooked some pork chops on it using the reverse sear. They turned out phenomenal. You know, the, the, the heat holds pretty good. Um, of course, your vent placement is different. Um, so, you know, that's a big issue there as far as uh, your vent placement and the, the way that the Weber holes are designed. Um, you're going to have some issues there and it's just it's just like with any kind of grill. You're going to have to a learning process and how to get your whole placement right. Um, so again it's a great grill. The slow and sear works great with it as well. But again I do highly recommend getting a Weber uh, versus the member mark if you have the extra money to do so. So guys, I hope this has been informative to you, helpful to you. If you have the member's mark, if you decide you're going to get the member's mark, hopefully these things will help you uh, make your decision. So guys, I thank you for taking the time to watch. Until next time, God bless.